this is Falmouth, full of bars, shops and coastal walks. But if you take a closer look into its gardens, you could find an exotic stowaway, stick insects. Now when I lived down here, I'd heard rumours about these insects, and it wasn't until the very last day when I was about to move when one literally fell right in front of me. And since then, I've been itching to come back. For well over a hundred years, stick insects have popped up around Cornwall and the Isles of Scilly. These are now naturalised, and with a keen eye, can be found in many gardens across the southwest. They don't breed in the traditional sense, but are parthenogenic, meaning that no male is needed to produce eggs. I met Malcolm Lee, one of the UK Phasmid study group, to tell me more. So Malcolm, thanks for joining me. Obviously these are two that we, well, that you found earlier, we yep. haven't found these today, but there could very well be stick insects in they're, this garden. They're found all over in gardens in, uh, in Falmouth, and we've got two species here. Um, this one is called the prickly stick insect, and if you look on his back, hopefully you won't disappear too quickly, but if you look on his back <laughs> keep, there, keep he's got <laughs> lots of little black spines, that look like little uh, small bramble thorns, and uh, he first arrived in this country in about the in Edwardian times in Paynton. A couple of years later, they were found in a garden very close to where they were in Paynton, and uh, that was sent up to the British Museum, and they confirmed it was the prickly stick insect from New Zealand. And it's a long way from home here, then, isn't it? <laughs> it's a long way from home. Yeah, and they're now found all over the Torbay region. In a few locations in Cornwall, this prickly one can be seen. Um, it, it isn't common. The second species, this one here, which okay. doesn't have any prickles <laughs> on it, is known as the unarmed stick insect. Um, unarmed because that one's armed with spines, this one hasn't got any spines. Nothing, nothing to do with not having any arms. That's That's it, just yeah. <laughs> and uh, this one is much more common throughout Cornwall. Uh, this one was first recorded in Truro in the 1920s at the nursery called Tresidas, Tresidas Nursery. And Tresidas was the main importer of New Zealand plants from the late Victorian times. These stick insects are all female. There are, were no males ever known until a couple of years ago when one turned up in Penzance and that appears to have been just some genetic uh, mutation because wow, okay. there are none known in, uh, in, in the native land. Right. So I suppose that the, one of the concerns people might get, because these are quite large insects, they, they kind of reproduce quite rapidly. Are, are they a concern for native wildlife? Each one can lay five, six, seven hundred eggs. Um, and if all of those hatched out, uh, we would be up to our neck in stick insects <laughs> in a matter of a few years. Yeah. Typically, but they only need one egg to survive, and if they lay 500 eggs and one survives, that's what's about a 90, uh, 99.5% um, failure. So if we were to reduce that to 99%, the population would double every year. In a decade, that would increase a thousandfold. Uh, the, so the fact that we haven't got stick insects everywhere suggests that the vast majority of them and not making it to uh, to adulthood. So they're just sort of a, an interesting addition, really, yeah. to enjoy. Now, the southwest in many ways is perfect for these New Zealand hitchhikers. There's a fairly constant temperature and very little frost compared to the rest of the country. There's also lots of botanical gardens here, so plenty of places to be spread around and a leaf or two for lunch. Chances are they're more widespread than we realise, so they're easy to miss. So the next time you're out in your garden, Keep an eye out on the twigs in case one of them starts moving. Thanks for watching. Which species do you think I should go after next? Don't forget to like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, cheers.